Well, we have seen what this data engineering is all about. We have seen in a very layman terms and what you will do as a data engineer, the roles and responsibilities, and basically you'll be building a ETL pipeline. Now, in order to build an ETL pipeline, it's not that easy. You have to know certain tools, technologies, and languages here. And with that, we are jumping on to the first topic that we are going to learn will be SQL. So the total course is like uh, 100 hours, like 100 days, we say it as 100 days. It goes up to 140 hours as well. In that, we have covered and SQL will go up to uh, 20 days, followed by Python. Python goes up to 20 days. Again, big data, Spark, data warehousing goes for up to another 20 days. And uh, cloud is where we'll be spending a lot of time. We'll be covering a lot of hours. So overall, the course will be like around four and a half to five months where you'll be learning A to Z. And you can easily showcase your experiences five years because what we are going to do is a real-time project here. Okay, let's start with that. I've told you in the beginning as well, the expectations from this course is we will teach everything from scratch. If you want to learn directly advanced, this is not the place for you. Everyone, okay, whether you are another company CEO or you're a fresher or an experienced person, for everyone, we are going to start from scratch. Even if you don't know what is this SQL, we will start from scratch. Okay, that's the main motive of KSR. Anyone, you, anyone who sits in our class, should be able to understand okay now first we'll think about what is this sql the full form says that structured query language so it's a language okay it's a language we have we have 50 plus in this batch all the 50 people are able to understand my language the reason the reason because I'm speaking in a common language, which you also know English, I also know English. What if I speak in Kannada? What if I speak in Tamil? What if I speak in Telugu, Marathi? Do you think any, everyone can understand? Definitely no. So each set of people from coming from their language, they can understand. But I need one common language to communicate. Now, every single person who's sitting in this class is able to understand because you know English, I know English. Right? Similarly, we want to communicate to one tool. What tool it is? For that tool, we need one language. So today I go to Andhra, I need to know Telugu. Today I go to go Kerala, maybe I need Malayalam. I'll go to Tamil Nadu, I need uh, Tamil. So I have a certain languages to go and talk to that certain state. Similarly, I need to learn one language. What is this language all about? This language is all about talking to one tool. What is that one tool? We will see. Okay. So as part of the agenda, we'll start with what is a SQL. Of course, I always found of knowing this, uh, irrespective of whether they ask an interview or not, I always try to figure out the history of technology. Before learning any technology, I would always go and research. Hey, when this, when this technology came, we are using all these days. What is this? Right? So all this we will be seeing as part of a slide. And the most importantly, why it is important okay why sql is important anywhere you go sql is required you go to any technology you go as a data engineer data scientist a uh, data analyst you go as a web developer android developer wherever you go we will follow you who is that sql okay and finally we'll look at it one database and we'll start learning now before even i start with the actual concept i want one of you to tell me when did India won the World Cup in 2011? Anyone? Date? April, April, April 2nd. 2nd. April 2nd. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. When did the first ever smartphone came into picture? Now everyone has a smartphone. But when did the first smartphone came into picture? What's the answer for second question? Okay. You don't know. Let's go for third one. What happened on November 8th, 2016? Demonetization. Demonetization. What happened? All 500 and 1,000 rupees are uh, taken out oh, from... Oh, it's already been 8 years, huh? Good. Yeah. In 8 years, did we get anything, uh, what they did with that? is Was there any progress happened? Was the economy improved? No idea. Okay. Since I'm a cricket fan, I just wanted to ask you this question as well. Who holds the fastest ODI 100 record? Who holds the fastest ODI one-day record? Uh, Corey Anderson, New Zealand. 
it's actually A.B. de Villiers from South Africa. Okay. So now tell me what happened in February 2009. That also you don't know. Okay. At least this you should know. It happened in the last four years. What happened on 21st March 2020? We, we mm -hmm. found the first corona case in India. Very good. First COVID. I mean, I think it's a first lockdown starts, I think. Lockdown started. Uh, started on 22nd, I believe. Is it? Okay. So tell me the latest day. What happened on March 17, 2024? This you should definitely know it. Three months back. Come on, yaar. I thought you were all good in dates. What happened on March 17, 2024? Just two, three months back. Election date announcement is this? Still you don't know? Surprising. Uh, sorry, Sabdosh, which question? Uh, uh, I'm asking you... what happened on March 17, 2024. So you did not answer this question. You did not answer this question. You did not answer this question. And you're not going to answer this question as well. Well. I believe India-Pakistan match in the World Cup. When? March 17th, huh? Yeah, I'm guessing that. World Cup is happening now, no? What happened in March 17th? Yeah, this is T20, right? 50 overs was last year, not this year. I'm showing 2024, no? This is 2024, couple of months back. We are in June, April, May. Yeah, what happened on March 17th? Electoral bond data was made public. Sorry? Electoral bond scam or data was made public. No. Okay, find it out, okay? Find it out. Now, we have all these dates. We have all these dates. But you want to know this answer. Whom you will ask? Today, all this data, like what happened, what happened uh, in 2011, what happened in 2009, what happened in 2004, what happened in 2002. If I keep asking this question in Google, you will get answer for every single question. Okay. You will get answer for every single question. For example, I just go here. I just go to Google. Okay. And I ask one question. What happened on March 17th, 2024? Whatever happened, I'll be getting here, right? So March 17th, what happened? Maybe the election announced date. And uh, so all these are news, okay? What happened on that particular day? You are getting it. Ukraine launches some drone attacks. Surveillance of Maldives. Koli back to India. So all this is something which I'm getting as an information, right? Now, even what happened, you can also still get to know if there is any festivals. Now, who am I asking this? I'm asking in Google, correct? I'm asking in Google. Now, all these questions, all these questions, you'll get an answer. You'll get an answer, right? If you just go, go and Google it, you'll get it. But the question is, the question is, how this information are getting populated to you? How this information are getting populated to you? Correct? I need to tell you this. Remember this slogan. Remember the slogan. Something, somewhere, it is stored. And that is why today you are able to ask this question. If India had won World Cup, they have stored somewhere. The data is stored somewhere. When did the first ever smartphone came? Maybe it could be 1994 or 1992. But how did you get know? They are stored somewhere. All of this information is stored somewhere. And that is why you go and ask in Google. You'll get that information. Right? So something somewhere it is stored. Remember the slogan. Something somewhere it is stored. That is why you are able to pick up this. But where it is stored? It is stored in a database. All the information which you are seeing, which is around you, is been stored somewhere. Where is that? Database. Where do you store water in your house? You store in bottles. You store in buckets. 
you store it in tank, like maybe beyond that, you store it in lake, river, sea. Right? Do you find where anywhere else? Definitely no. Similarly, if I want to store data, the only place where you can store the data is database. Now, database is a place where you will have all the data that is collected together, right? It can have large number of records. It is connected over the globe. Every single point which you're seeing on the screen, like in terms of the questions I asked, whatever the questions I asked, whatever the data is, everything, it is stored somewhere. Where it is stored? It is stored in database. Right. So today you go, you go to Swiggy and you go back and see the past orders, right? What I ordered previously, what I ordered one month back, what I ordered two months back. You will see the what, which hotel, which restaurant you have ordered, what food you ordered. You can see it where it is possible. It is stored somewhere. You go to Amazon, you go and check out your orders. You'll be able to see what orders you purchased. Right. So all this information is readily available in your fingertips. It's because something somewhere it is stored. Remember that. Where it is stored? It is stored in database. It is stored in database. Right. So any new record you wanted, for example, you go and create a new user, sign in, sign up. Right. Directly it will go and create your own account. Uh, multiple people can also work on the similar data. For example, there is a seat. I need to book a movie ticket. It is empty now. I can also book. Your friend also can book. Whoever books first, first preference will be given to them. But you both will be able to see. Both will be in sync. Right? So all of this can happen with the database. Today, today, I just went to Google and I asked what happened in 2012, what happened in 2014, what happened in 2013. I asked in English. But mind it. Mind it, if I want to talk to a database, if I want to talk to a database, your English will not work. Your Tamil will not work. Your Telugu will not work. Your Hindi will not work. Your computer languages will not work. If I want to talk to a database, if I want to talk to a database, if I want to talk to a database, there is one and only language in this world which is going to be SQL. This is the only language that is used to communicate to a database. You want to go and talk to directly the database. Hey, what is happening? What happened on this particular day? What happened on that particular day? Your English will not work. Maybe you may ask me in Google, I'm typing in English only. But what is happening at the back end? It is going and querying it. It is going and writing in the language what database understands. And that's the language you're going to learn. In order to talk to a database, you have to learn one language. That language is SQL. This is a language you have to learn to talk to a database. If you want to survive in Karnataka, you have to learn Kannada. If you want to survive in Kerala, you have to learn Malayalam. If you want to learn, if you want to survive in Tamil Nadu, you have to learn Tamil. If you want to survive in database technologies, you have to learn SQL. Without this language, never ever think of getting survived in this technology. This is the only one language where you can go and communicate to a database. Now, how are we going to learn? Right now, it stands for structured query language. It's a language. It is used to communicate with a database. Now, SQL statements are used to perform such as update, insert. Like, for example, you're interacting with a couple of people and they are like talking to you and you are performing some updates. Like, let's say you're changing the address, you're changing your phone number. Automatically, it goes and updates it. How? Because you're going to talk to a database in the SQL language. Right now. Imagine that I am relating this SQL to English. Okay. Imagine that I am relating the SQL to English. Okay. Now, if I learn English, I can survive anywhere in this world. If I'm in India, maybe my language will be very simple. Like I'm not using any posh words or a, a complex words, right? The way I talk is very simple. If you are, even if you are opposite in me, like I just use my simple words, right? But if you ask me, is this the same way I talk to my clients? The answer is no. To my clients, maybe I'll improve my grammar, sentence formation, vocabulary, some uh, like standard words, right? I go with a bit of uh, presentation. So I would say 
I will improve my talking when I'm talking to my clients. But it's still English. If I go to Pakistan, I'll speak in a very uh, normal way, like very simple way. If I go to Sri Lanka, I will speak even slower because those people have to understand. So depending on the country I go, I adjust my language. But you know what? English is not going to change. English is not going to change. Vocabulary, sentence formation, fluency. Those things will change, but your English will never change. But if you learn English, you can survive in anywhere in this world. Right? This is a true. Now, let's relate this to SQL now. You want to store the data. You want to store the data. Where do you want to store the data? The first thing I'll, the one thing which I remember is pen drive. Nowadays we are not using it, but you all know pen drive. So we all know pen drive, right? So in pen drive, you can store the data. Now in pen drive, why do you have different brands? We have Sony pen drive. We have Samsung pen drive. We have SanDisk pen drive. Why all these different brands? Why do you have different brands of pen drives from coming from different companies? What is the difference? What is the difference between Sony pen drive versus Samsung pen drive? Both are pen drive. Based on the speed. Okay. Uh, price. The price is the only difference. What is the difference between Sony pen drive versus Samsung pen drive? Then maybe security or functionality. Can I say that Sony pen drive can only store photos, whereas Samsung pen drive can only store uh, like images or videos? No. Then what is the difference? Tell me. Branding name. Brand name. What else? Reading and writing speeds are different. Yes. Depending on the company, Sony or a Samsung, the read and write operations or the copy and the copy and move operations can be faster. But ideally, both the pen drives are used for storing the data, right? You can store all the type of data. Here you can store pictures, images, audio files, video files, everything you can store. There also you can store. So ideally, both the ways you can store, what is really important is try to understand what is the difference here. It could be speed, it could be performance, it could be cost, it could be everything, correct? Now similarly, similarly, in this world, we have so many database in the market. In this, mark, in this uh, market, we do have so many databases. Oracle we have, Sybase we have, SQL Server we have, Postgres we have, SQLite we have. There are so many databases in the market. But whichever database let it be, if you know SQL, you can go and talk to any of the database. Just like if I learn English, Imagine that instead of SQL class, we have an English class. I'm teaching you spoken English class. Anywhere in this world, you can survive. Similarly, you will learn SQL language here. Tomorrow, you go and work with any database. There are hundreds of databases. You go and work with 100 databases. You will still be able to work with that database because we are learning here language. Because we are learning here language. We are not focusing on tool. You have joined KSR for a spoken English class means I'm teaching you English. I'm not teaching spoken English class for Australia, spoken English for US, spoken English class for Germany, spoken English for Pakistan. No, it's I'm teaching English. So you have to consider this as like a language which you're going to learn. If you learn this language, you go and work with any database in the world, you will still be able to work because the focus is on the language and not on the tool. Okay. With that, let's get into the next one. Let's see how the data is getting stored in a, a simple table. This is a table. And what you see, the complete information that is getting stored, we call it as a table. We call it as a table. Now in this, everyone has a position, everyone has requirements, everyone has a maximum pay, minimum pay. All this is common. For example, name. Everyone has a name in this group phone number. Everyone has a phone number. Age. Everyone has an age. So all this name, age or phone number, what I say, it's a common for everyone. I would call it as columns. I'd call it as columns. Right? Now each person's record, 
let's say I am the person, my position, my education, my functional area, my salary, I will call it as one particular row. So we have 50 people, 50 people records we have, it's called 50 rows, right? And particularly if I'm asking, okay, who is a trainer? What qualification he has? If I'm focusing on particular value, we call it as data point. We call it as data point or we call it as a data value. As in then you see up the ladder, we go and see a lot of things that we see. But in, in this data, we can see that most of the data that we see here is actually stored in a table format. Now, what is table format? Table is a, a rows and columns format. So the top column you see, it's actually a common for everyone. The row which you see, it specifically defines you. What is your name? What is your age? It defines like that. Okay. Now with this... Let's see why SQL is important. Okay. I'll tell you one uh, small example. Okay. I'm 10 years experience. Okay. My manager is 14 years experience. He's my manager. Okay. Now, you'll not believe, you know what he knows? He only knows SQL, nothing else. He knows nothing. He knows nothing. He don't know what is cloud. He don't know what is Azure data engineering. He don't know what is data analysis. Nothing he knows. He knows only SQL. Okay. 14 years experience. Working in Microsoft. The salary is getting is 48 lakhs per annum. So 48 by 12. How much? 15, 30, 45. How much is that? 48 divided by 12. Four. Almost. Four lakhs. Four lakhs. Excluding tax, is getting three lakhs per month. His salary is three lakhs per month. For know what? For knowing SQL. You should be knowing how important is SQL. Is surviving with SQL. Now, I'm not asking you to learn only SQL. This is just an example I'm giving you. Make you understand how SQL is important in life. Whenever someone comes to me, like I usually meet a lot of people, like uh, after graduation, they come to me and ask, like, it's like a career counseling. Okay. I do take career counseling. So a lot of people come to me and ask, what should I do next? I've completed my graduation. I completed my 10th standard. I've completed this. I completed that. What should I do next? So I usually take consulting and I talk to them. They'll ask me, what should I do first? Should I learn Java? Should I learn data engineering as a beginner? Should I learn data analyst? Should I learn management? I would say the first important thing that you ask anyone, you ask anyone, the first thing the people will say is you need to have a, a proper communication. That is, you need to know English first. In order to survive in IT, you need to know English. Because English is the only way that you can communicate to all of your people. Right? I cannot go and talk to my client in Kannada, Hindi, Tamil, Malayalam. No, not possible. I need to talk to my clients only in English. So you ask anyone, they'll always say that first you learn English, then you come to IT. First, you speak confidently. Then you come to IT. This is what you say, right? But anyone who comes to me, I'll give first preference to SQL. Then only English. That's the way I work. Your SQL is so super important because if you want to communicate your database, is the only language which you can use it. That means you should understand how important is this. Today is... Fourth day of the session. Even the last day of the session, you will still see me using SQL. You will still see me using SQL in all the projects, in all the projects we do, in all the pipelines we do. Till the last day, the last minute of this course completion, you will see SQL. This is just an indication for you that until the last day of your retirement in your data engineering role, you will use SQL. It's so important. Now, let's see why it is important. Let's see why it is important. Okay. And also, we have taken the analysis from a lot of companies. 
like a lot of people who are working in organizations and a lot of people who are like working in the real time. We have taken a survey. We can see that 55% of the times your SQL is used for data processing. Now, how, why it is so important? We need to find a reason, right? Simply, I cannot say it's important. We need to find a reason. What's the reason? Let's figure out. If someone's saying something important, first of all, ask him why. Okay, first of all, if, if for example, Virat Kohli is a very important player in India. First, you ask why. Then you have to show, show the stats. He is a very he's a chase master. He scores well in the chasing. And if he is there in the screens, you, can, you, know, you need not even worry about it. You'll start talking about all the stats. First of all, if anyone, anything is important, first try to ask why. The same question has to come from you. Why it is important? Now, before even I explain why it is important, let me also tell you that it's been 50 years that SQL is into picture. 50 years. It's not one year. It's not two years. It's 50 years. 50 years if a tool and if a technology or if a language has been sustained in this industry for 50 years, then you should be understanding how important it is. It was started in the year 1970, right? It was started by Raymond Bonds and Donald Chamblin. And uh, initially, they call it as SQL. Even now, people call SQL. I usually call SQL. And some people also call SQL. SQL stands for Structured Query Language. SQL is also same. I'm used to that. Okay, I keep uh, talking about SQL, SQL, SQL. But people also call SQL. So the name of the... Uh, initially, what happened? They had kept SQL. And due to some copyright issue, they have changed this name from SQL to SQL. Okay. And as I've told you, 1970 is where they started working. And we are in 2024 now. It's almost 54 years down the line. And we are still using SQL, 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 SQL. And why? 50 years. Can't even imagine. Right? Uh, when I was a kid, 90s kids, right? I used to play video game. Do you all know? Remember that? A normal the joystick video game. You'll have cassettes where you can play all the uh, normal games. Right? Do you all remember that? Yeah, yeah. Especially Mario game. Yeah. Contra. 90s kids video game. So do you all remember these games? Super Mario, Circus. Yes. D does anyone have this still with you? I have yeah, it, but have it's not working. I have the cassette, that green color one. Yeah, Cheap green color. Thing. So do you remember this? You can shoot this with the gun. They'll be giving one gun. Do you all remember this? Yes? Yes or yeah. no? Yeah. Yes. Now, where is those all this? It's gone. Okay, I remember playing all this, okay? I still remember whenever I scored some good marks, my mom used to get me one cassette. Because all the game I used to finish. All the game I used to finish. So if I, if I get a good marks, like a first rank, the first thing is I want to get a cassette. Recently, my cousin had come uh, to my house for summer vacation. Okay, it's, it's actually fourth standard, okay? It's actually fourth standard. He came to my house. It was like, I, you know, always you take the class. It's boring for me. Can you get me something to play? I was asking, what do you want? You know what he's what he's saying? He's saying I need PS5. Honestly, I'm telling I didn't even know what is PS5. I have to go and research. Do you all know what is PS5? PlayStation. Yeah. PlayStation. He's asking PlayStation. He's a fourth standard guy. How the technology is getting changed? Whatever happens, the good thing is SQL has never changed. That's a good point for us. Now, what is there in SQL? Why it has not changed even after 50 years? Right? So, let's find out that. So, as and then history says that, I don't want to know about the history, but still, uh, I'm very thankful for Raymond Bonds. I always respect him because the way he has introduced this, it's made our work easier. And, of course, it's been 50 years down the line and this is still important. Let's see why it is important. Let's see why it is important. Okay? 
Now, before even we see why it is important, there are two concepts that you need to understand. One is called OLAP and OLTP. Now, this slide looks very blank if you don't understand. So, what I'm going to do, I'm coming back to the slide again after giving an example. Okay. So, after giving an example, let me come here. The example is, let's say you have to book a ticket. How many of you know Red Bus? How many of you know Red Bus yeah. in India? Yes, we do. What is Red Bus? It's a ticket booking platform where you can uh, book tickets online. Yes. So you can book a ticket. Okay. You can book a ticket. Now I'll go here. I'll select the book. I'll select the ticket. Okay. If I select it, it will, it will turn to be green. And all this pink color, what do you mean by pink color? Reserved for females. Either it is booked by ladies or it is book, It is for uh, it is uh, uh, available for ladies. And this is available. And this is blocked. Unavailable. Okay. Now, I want to go and block this ticket. So, this seat number is 4. I'll go and select this. Okay. And what I will do, today I don't have money. Today I don't have money to buy this ticket. So I'll simply select this. I'll come out of it. Tomorrow I will go and I will pay. Is it acceptable? The same no. ticket. Today I will select it. Today I'll see the seat. But I don't have money. So I'll wait for one day. I'll come back tomorrow and then I'll pay. Is it acceptable? No. Why? No. Why? Everyone, everyone is to try to uh, book the same, right? Sorry, come again. Maybe some other person may try to book the same ticket, right? But still, you have booked, right? You have, you have selected the seat. No, no. The selected, it has some duration, like it will be uh, selected for uh, five to ten minutes. They have exactly. Some exactly. So, this is where your timeout and the block seat comes into picture. For example, you book the ticket, you, you block the ticket now. Okay, you block the ticket now, and five minutes will be given for you to pay this amount. In the five minutes, if funds, someone else see the same ticket, it will show it's blocked. Right? Someone is already blocked. So that seat will not show to you. Have you ever experienced this? Yes? Yes. Yes, yes. This all these things is happening a live interaction between the systems when you are selecting the seat is shown for you your friend is seeing that seat is not shown to them it's because you have already blocked the seat for at least for five minutes the person cannot see the ticket whether you do a successful transaction or a failed transaction depending on that that seat will be either completely blocked or it will be open for the another person all this is going to happen very 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 lively data very live data it's not like you book now and after five days, six days, you will get a confirmation. No. The next minute you pay the ticket, you next minute you pay the amount, the next minute the PDF and ticket will be generated and that is called an immediate transaction. The one things which you do on the system and that gets affected immediately, we call it as an immediate transaction. It's not like you book a ticket now and after one month you will get a ticket generated. It's no use. Tomorrow is your travel time. Where you will get after one month? It's no use. Now, this type of an immediate transaction where a certain amount of time will be given to you for making the transactions, where the timeout will run it and the seat will be blocked. And this is an application that we can use for ticket booking. All this works with the OLTP transaction. Okay, let's see what is the full form of OLTP transaction. OLTP transaction stands for Online Transactional Processing. It happens online immediately. It happens online immediately. The immediate transaction, what it happens, you'll be able to see that. Okay, similarly, you have another. What is this? My show. My show. My show. Book my show. Yes, so this is a, this is a ticket booking for your movie. Okay, imagine I am going to book these two tickets. After booked, it is grayed out. 
But before booking it, you show green, you select it and you pay. By the time you pay this amount, you have to generate a OTP, you have to go and give a credit card details, debit card details. By that time, the other person will not be able to book this ticket. It will show as a blocked. So this is where all the transactions are getting related to each other. It is always be on toes. Very much like live data for us. You do some changes, immediately it will affect. And the next minute, your barcode will be generated and your tickets will be generated. All this happens in less than two minutes. Now, all this live transactions is again called OLTP, Online Transactional Processing. The process, the processing happens in a very short period of time. And one of my favorite example I'll tell you is, if you want to send money to someone, like you use a Google Pay, Phone Pay, and as a net banking, imagine you are a person A, and you have to send to a person B and immediately this is a person A, this is a person B. Person A have 6,000 rupees, person B has 1,500. Imagine I want to make a Google Pay of 2,000. The next second, the amount will change. The next second, the amount will change. And after successful transaction, you will be able to see the immediate transaction. Okay. Now, I'll give an example. Okay. I'll give an example. Imagine we have an ATM transaction. Just observe carefully. Okay. I will tell you the situation. You tell me what is the scenario is going to happen. In my bank, in my bank, I have 10,000 amount. Okay. So yesterday what I did, 9 o'clock morning, I withdraw some 2K. For withdrawing, you will call it as debit or credit? Debit. 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 So 9 a.m. I debited 2K. Actually, yesterday was Bakrit. It's a government holiday. So yesterday, banks were holiday. So what happened? Just imagine the situation, okay? Yesterday, it was a Bakrit government holiday. So the moment I withdraw 2K, my new balance should have been 8K. But it did not happen. Even at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, my balance was still 10K. So what I did, I withdrew another 5K. Since yesterday was Bakrith, the banks are on leave. By the time in the 6 o'clock, my balance was still 10K because banks are on leave. And I withdrew another 5K. And night also, I was a bit surprised. And night I forgot. So how many times today I went to ATM? How much of money amount I withdraw? I forgot. So again, in the night, I withdraw around 6K. So tomorrow, my balance will be 2, 5, 7, 7 plus 5, 12, 12 plus 6, 18. So totally, I have withdrawn 18K. So tomorrow means today. That means today is bank working day. So can I say my bank balance today will change to minus 8K? Can this happen? No. No. Has anyone experienced this so far? No. Not even a single person has experienced? No. This will never ever happen. This will never ever happen. Even it's a government holiday, even you're transacting at one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, midnight, you go to different country, wherever you are. The moment you do the transaction, your bank will update the details. Your bank transaction is the best, 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 best example I can give it for OLTP, online transactional processing. Maybe, see, I don't know whether you have observed this. You put your ATM card, right? You enter the number, you enter the PIN, you enter the amount, and you'll get some sound, right, in ATM. Most satisfying sound. Yes? The counting sound of the notes. It's the most satisfying sound. Yes or no? Yes, yes. yes. By the time the money is counting itself, you would have got a message in your mobile saying that this amount is repeated. Still, you are not even collected in your hand by the time you would have got the sound. Have you observed this? Have you observed this? Just yes, because, yes. Just because before itself is counting, that sound you will get, right? By the time itself, would have your WhatsApp notification or your normal notification would have been got it. That's how the fastest. 
you do it at one o'clock two o'clock three o'clock you do anywhere the transaction time that takes us within seconds all this can happen with this type of transactions called OLTP online transaction processing it manages your time to time transactions it manages your time to time transactions sometimes your mobile network may be down right you may not get the message immediately sometimes we get that right we go and we take the money but we will not get the message that can still happen but if you go and check the bank statement there it would have reflected now this is a problem with your mobile network not with the bank your banks are very keen on this every single second they go and update it the amount you take they'll go and update it right now let's see another type of transaction which is called online analytical processing we'll see online analytical processing we'll see what is this online analytical processing the one which we have seen is online transactional processing now we'll go and say online analytical processing so we also call it as olap one is called oltp another one is called olap let's see what is this olap now today morning uh, i was just uh, i just uh, wanted to have some refresh so I thought, okay, let me watch a couple of movies. Let me watch a couple of movies. That's what I thought. So I immediately subscribed to Netflix. So hope you also have a Netflix, right? So you have a Netflix, you have Hotstar, you have Amazon Prime, right? So you watch movies. So what I did, I'm actually a bit uh, interested in thrillers, uh, comedy movies I see, like family movies, drama, uh, family stories and all I see. Most of the things I see. I usually avoid... Uh, uh, ghost stories and all but okay normally i watch this a normal decent stories i watch okay now i watched for three days first day i watched one movie second day i watched another movie third day i watched another movie three different type of movies one with a, a thriller one with comedy and one with a, like family movie okay you'll not believe fourth day what movies i need to watch they are recommending it. They are recommending it. Your Netflix is recommending what movies you need to watch. After three days of my activities, what I have seen, what type of movies I have seen, they are recommending movies for me. Okay. This is one example. Let's talk about another example. This is also my favorite example. Imagine... I want to buy iPhone. iPhone 15 Pro Max. Is the latest model? Or we have 16? No, 15 this is the latest. latest. So 15 Pro Max is the latest one, right? Okay. So anyone have this phone? Yes, Santosh. Very good. Are you from India? Yes, I'm in India, but I was in Australia when I bought it. Very good. So you have iPhone 15 Pro Max. Anyone else? More than data engineering, more than a trainer, more than a mentor, I'm actually a person who can read your mind. Okay, I'm reading your mind now. If I have iPhone 15 Pro Max, why will I join your course? Is it true? No. no. Is it true? If I can spend 1.5 no. lakhs for a phone, why will I come and sit in your class? This, cost, this phone costs 1.5 lakhs. So if phone itself, you can spend 1.5 lakhs. You're thinking like, why should I join this guy's course? Do you agree? Yes? No. 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 Maybe yes. Maybe yes. yes. Okay. Now, I'm not an iPhone user. I don't use iPhone. I don't like it. But imagine that I wanted to buy an iPhone. Okay. The first thing as a 90s kids, what you do? First thing is when you're buying something, you ask your mom's permission, right? So I went and asked my mom. Mom, I, I want to buy one iPhone. She asked me how much. I told it's 1.5 lakhs. The look she gives, right? We call it as death scare, right? She looks at me and says that for picking up the phone and talking to someone, do you really need for 1.5 lakhs of phone? She starts shouting. 
spend that amount on something else. Invest on gold, invest on share market. Why are you spending one point flex on a useless product like phones? In 10,000 rupees phone also you can talk. In 1,50,000 phone also you can talk. Why you really need iPhone? As if you're a photographer who takes a photo. As if you're committed to go and keep on talking on phone. Nothing. You keep talking to your students. For talking to your students, why you need 1.5 lakhs of phone? She starts scolding me. So what I did, before buying, I added to the cart. I added to the cart. Then I went and showed her, this is what I'm buying. So she scolded, so I dropped the plan. So immediately what I did, day one, I added to the cart. Then I removed because she scolded, right? So she removed. Day two, what happened? You know, right, whenever uh, uh, someone scolds in your mom, you'll do strike. You'll not eat food properly. You'll not sleep properly. You'll not talk to them. Day two, she came to me and said that, okay, okay, don't be upset. You're earning, you're earning well. Okay, you buy whatever you want. She gave the permission now. Okay, don't be sad. You have just one life. You go buy whatever you want. So again, what I did, again, I added to the cart. Again, I removed. Because second I added to the cart, I showed and I took a review from my friends who already had a phone. So I asked, hey, is this phone good? I'm trying to buy. And they started giving negative feedbacks. Hey, this phone is good, but it's very costly. If your dropout is gone, again, you have to buy a case. Again, you have to buy a screen guard. Again, you have to take an insurance. So a lot of things are there and it's for one use only. After two, three years, you will again upgrade it. So please don't buy it. I'm using iPhone for the last three, four years. Nothing much. It's just a brand. That's it. It's just like we, we show off it, but nothing else. Please don't buy. So I got a negative feedback. I was actually very interested to buy, but this type of feedbacks, first day was... Uh, first day, it was opposed by my mom. Second day, it was opposed by my friends. So again, I felt a bit sad. Third day, I didn't check with anyone. I only researched. I only researched. Then finally, I decided this is overpriced for me. I'm not going to use this much. So let me drop the plan. So third day also, I added to the cart and I removed from the cart. Now what I'm talking is from a customer perspective. Now, let's think from Amazon perspective. Now, what is Amazon thinking, right? This is what I did. Now, what is Amazon thinking? Now, what is this guy? This guy is coming to my website. He's using my website. He's using my browser. He's using all my products. He's adding to the cart, but he's not buying. Okay, fine. Day one, fine. Day two, again, he's coming. He's, he's seeing the product. He's seeing the colors. He's adding to the cart. He's not buying. What is this problem? I'm thinking from Amazon, okay? Now, third day, again he comes, again he adds, but he's not buying. What is the problem in him? Now, finally, Amazon thinks that, okay, this guy has some issue in pricing. So, let me give some discount, cash back, zero EMI, okay? And we will give a instant discount and they will attract me to buy. So, 1,29,000 was the price of the phone. Now, since I did not buy for three days, three days I kept on adding, kept on removing, kept on adding. Fourth day, they've scratched this amount they have given as 99,900 only. Now, this is what they attract you. Now, you will definitely buy because initially you thought your phone is six digit. Now, you're thinking it's a five digit. 99,999. Now, what is Amazon is thinking? Amazon, if you buy only, they'll make money. They'll say that, see, they would have purchased for 90,000. They would have purchased from iPhone 90,000, but they are selling for 1,29,000. They are making a profit of 39,000, but now they're selling for 99,000. Still, they'll make a profit because for them, something is better than nothing. If you have not purchased this, they would have not made money. So, they'll start giving offers, discounts, cashbacks to you. Fourth day, they're doing this. You know why they're not doing on the day one? Day one, they're just waiting for you to buy. In case if they observe that you keep on buying, keep on buying, and you're not willing to buy, they'll start giving offers, discounts, cashbacks. They'll reduce the price as much as you can. They'll attract you and they'll make you to buy. And that's what happens. And you know what? All of these things will never happen in one day. The one minute you browse it, the next minute they're not going to give the offers. 
the next minute they're not giving to go to the office they are going to wait for three four days they're going to monitor your activities how many times he has logged into my portal how many times he has logged in from his mobile how many times he has browsed it are you I, I mean is he looking for any accessories is he looking for charger is he looking for the case is he looking for different colors what is he looking for is he looking for a discount is he looking for emi let me analyze his complete details three to four days they'll complete scan your details and then fourth day they will give you an offer for you that offer may not be there for a new person who is logging for the phone for buying the phone for the first time right now this is what happens now three to four days they will analyze their activities and come with discounts now that's how your amazon works okay i'm going to give you a open challenge to everyone okay in case if you win this challenge even i did not have a iphone but i'll give the iphone for you it's an open challenge anyone would like to take participate here it's an open challenge anyone who wins this challenge personally i'll give you an iphone from my pocket yes anyone willing to do okay yes anyone ready to take up this challenge i'll give you a free iphone for you if you win the challenge no no why you don't trust me huh no i trust you that's why i'm not asking for a challenge that's because i know you you, you will not challenge me if you know if there are any if, if you think you lose you will not challenge us come on yaar yeah. i can give it 1.5 lakhs i can give you one phone you i can, can give you hmm. Is there any terms? I know, but I know, I know you won't do that, and you also know that you won't do that. That's why you're giving us this challenge. Okay, let's talk about the challenge first. Then we will see who is willing to take up. Okay, I want to open an Amazon portal. This is the first step. Okay, choose a product. This is the second step. While choosing the product, you there will be a price also. Take a snapshot. take a snapshot because i need to know right what was the initial price to take a snapshot take a snapshot okay next step is browse it for some time and add it to the cart and remove it okay take a snapshot again because i need to know whether you have added it or not i need to see i need to have the time stamp when you have taken a screenshot i need to know that simply you say that day 1 i browsed it and day 4 uh, nothing has happened i will not believe so i want a screenshot the only way where i'll believe you is screenshots fourth step add to the cart and remove it screenshots it should be day 2 this is day 1 this is day 2 fifth step same product add to the cart and remove it day 3 screenshots required for me the only way to believe you is screenshots i want a proper screenshots with a time stamp when have you taken for example if i take a screenshot now if i take a screenshot now so it should 859 so this screenshot time should come okay so this is how i can believe that you have researched now sixth step final day day 4 I want you to compare your new price with your old price. That means the price which you have taken the first and the price now. In case, in case this is a challenge. In case if there is no offers, discounts, cashbacks, EMI option, banking option, instant discount, if they have not given anything after four days, I'll get you iPhone. in case if there is no changes happen to all this i will get your iphone in this case santosh we need to also take the screenshot of the offers on the day one yes that's right. what i'm saying that price means offer will come right yeah yeah before see here only if you say offer here only you will get instant discount no emi option everything that's what i'm asking screenshot right. so the day right. one screenshot day four screenshot i need in case if both are same price is same no discounts no cashbacks nothing is there i'll get you whatever you ask for 
is it applicable to any of the product or only any like product or... any product but don't go and order Basic. 5 lakh 6 lakhs just go and order somewhere like 1 lakh around phone samsung phone iphone your speakers your television do whatever you want will you all take up this challenge yes 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 yes, yes. 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 let's see who will win the phone okay in front of you only i will buy okay i will open the portal in case if you show the price change or any see the price need not be changed but at least you will get some cashbacks discounts uh, 0% emi option something you will get it in case if you do it you'll get a iphone is the challenge accepted is the yes. challenge accepted yes 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 basically we are challenging the algorithm of amazon dot dot in i mean i'm saying that it is how it works but if you feel like okay no this may not happen you have you have to provide me the screenshot and prove it if you prove it i'll get you a phone i have given this challenge for 6000 people so far in ksr but i have never given phone to anyone i but i have never given phone to anyone you know why yes because the amazon algorithm works and it reduces the price or gives some kind of offer to the person maybe that's how olap works maybe this time oh, you need to be an employee of amazon and you know how it works i'm ex employee of amazon i know how it works that is why i'm giving you open challenge i know how this how it works you try it you will definitely see it i'm 100% sure that's why i'm giving you open challenge right this is how it works i knew it from the start this is how it works every business they have their own type of recommendations definitely this will work and you know what this will not happen immediately it will take around it will take around 3 to 4 days day one they will not give you offer day one they will not give you discount for some products you may have it for some products they will have to research they have to go and analyze your activities why this guy is not buying is is coming is interested is adding to the cart is coming is interested is adding to the cart is coming is interested is adding to the cart but why is he is not buying after that they'll give you offers discounts this is how the olap system works just like an example of netflix where the movie they'll analyze what top of movies you're watching and the fourth day they are only recommending what movies you need to watch similarly what amazon is doing they're understanding your activities and then they're giving you offers discounts now all this it stands for online analytical processing so online analytical processing so we have two type of transactions one is a very much live transactions like your banking transaction even on the off day on time your balance keeps changing the moment you withdraw it and the other one whatever you do activities it takes 3 to 4 days for affecting so this is called olap system one is called online transactions one is called online analytical transactions it is used for analytical it is used for coming up with recommendations they'll start uh, giving some uh, like products for you like they'll start improving the business they'll start showing some ideas thoughts that's on all comes under the analytical purpose so two type of transaction we have with respect to any database are you all with me now is this slide clear after the examples uh, yes santosh uh, santosh can i ask you one question go ahead uh, here you are talking about this olap right Uh, like it will take time you are saying a uh, 3 4 days uh, in the companies is it a automated process or a separate team will be there to do all these things and my second question is where does snowflake uh, 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 sit into uh, fit into see, is it a olap or oltp see first of all we will not talk too much on the technical part okay because we are still on focusing on sql after sql oh. where it is stored whether it is stored in azure or cloud or aws or snowflake we'll see later this is a question you have to ask in the last part at this point of time we are learning only language why sql is important we have two type of transactions and that is why we are learn two type of transactions it will be automated after 3 4 days they'll analyze that's where machine learning models data scientists come into picture at this point of time just remember that there are two type of transactions one is going to happen immediately one is going to take 3 4 3 4 days of time that's it yeah thank you very much santosh okay now before i end the session for today i want to give you the answer why sql is important 
okay and here is a statement for you listen carefully which is the fastest running animal in this world cheetah which is the fastest running animal in the world cheetah cheetah is there any other animal who can beat cheetah is there any other animal i'm not i'm not talking in fighting i'm asking in running is there any other animal who can beat cheetah in running no 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 okay so we all know cheetah is the fastest running animal there is no animal who can beat cheetah speed now the fastest way of transaction can happen with sql there is no other technology that can match the transactional speed of sql chapter close that's it why sql is important i have given you the explanation i repeat one more time there is no other animal who can beat the speed of cheetah there is no other technology in the market who can beat the speed of sql transactions that's why even after 50 years i told you right you 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 put an atm card you right you enter the amount the amount is counting by the time amount is counting itself you would have got a message how fast it is is there any other technology you can do this definitely no that is why even today even after 50 years sql is important there is no other technology you can match there are hundreds of technologies there are thousands of technology but there is no ever technology which can match the speed of sql transactions and for this the most preferred one is sql there is no other technology can match the speed who has to do online transactional processing only one tool that we always believe in who can do the match the speed is sql is that clear yes yes okay i'll always like to play with statements okay now listen to my statement now listen to my statement okay listen carefully can can cat cat beat the speed of cheetah can cat run as fast as cheetah cat you know right can cat beat the speed of cheetah no 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 come on loudly no 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 okay i'll reverse the statement just observe can cheetah match the speed of cat no yeah yes listen to my statement listen to my statement can cat beat the speed of cheetah no can cheetah match the speed of cat by just walking yes. slowly oh yes 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 in that case your analytics can also be done with sql jo it's a slow is like 3 4 days you can still do with sql but we don't do it if if cheetah is like walking as slow as cat then what is the meaning of calling cheetah so definitely we will not use for analytics we will not use for I mean we will not use sql but instead we will use other systems we will use other systems here we will be using database where you will be using sql as a language here you will be using other storage other processing that we will see later overlap we will see later now today i am concluding that there is no other technology which can match the speed of online transactional processing and that is why today we have started to learn about sql another system olap system your sql can still do it your cheetah can walk as slow as tortoise also but it will not it's not known for walking slowly right so we have in some other tools who can do that but as of today for online transaction there is no other alternative who can do this is sql is that clear yes 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 to just to bring to your notice that sql is important see how much things i need to tell i need to talk about my mom i need to talk about my iphone i need to talk about netflix i need to talk about tiger i i mean cheetah i need to talk about cat see how much of explanation i need to give for explaining one simple term sql is important is that clear yeah okay 
with that we'll stop here we'll continue tomorrow any questions all good see if uh, you don't have sir, any questions sir, neither to one thing yeah uh, so so from tomorrow are we going to have the practicals of the uh, tomorrow we'll see the installation day after tomorrow it will be practicals okay so software you will be uh, sharing yes, or like yes. the... tomorrow oh, i'll be showing okay okay thank you if you don't have any questions just two things could have happened either you understood everything or you have not understood everything case 1 or case 2 case 1 everyone yeah yeah okay okay we'll stop here we'll continue tomorrow tomorrow we'll see the installation and from day after tomorrow theory will be done only practicals thank you all uh, no is sand hat yeah. no skill comes under uh, no, no come skill comes uh, later part of the course where we'll be covering uh, during the cloud services when we are learning cloud we'll be learning thank you okay. so, sir, thank you so, uh, tomorrow will be the free video and uh, once we pay the free yeah the so tomorrow will be the will... yeah tomorrow will be the free session the last free session so it's time for you to go back and review all the five video videos see i'm not asking to join this course okay i'm telling you from bottom of my heart wherever you go try to understand from the core subject that is important we are not forcing you to join here the first 5 days we have given you to understand okay are you understanding okay because sometimes you may feel very slow sometimes you feel like overloaded examples sometimes you may not understand fine wherever you understand learn it but you learn data engineering because my personal experience data engineering is going to be the future so learn wherever you are but learn data engineering so tomorrow will be the last free class post that only the registered people will be able to attend the class if you are if you are like happy with four days please talk to our team start the registration process and get registered if not you can wait for tomorrow and then finalize your decision are we good yeah Yes. Yes. Thank you.